Okay. Okay. And what is the website again? Uh, it gets better project.com. It gets better project.com. Uh huh. Okay. So basically, it's like going out saying it gets better, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, okay. So we spoke to Mary Helen Bowers um, a couple days ago, and she, you know, sings your praises. Um, but she told us about all the training that you endured, and I know you talked to this, you know, ad nauseum today. But tell us, like, what you went through. What was the regimen that she put you through? Uh, Mary Helen Bowers um, started training me a year before the, the film started. It wasn't even actually, there wasn't even a script yet. We just, I knew the, that Darren had the idea and um, I just started taking class with her. And so she started in a really, really basic way, um, just with very basic ballet training. Uh, we did a couple hours a day and then six months out, when this movie was really happening, we started adding in um, hardcore training, like we were swimming a mile a day, we were toning so that my body could get, um, could look like a dancer's as well as having the actual dance training. Um, and then a couple months before we started working with Benjamin Millipier, the choreographer for the film, and working on all the choreography, and then there were coaches that came in and giving me all the, um, you know all, all of the specific detail work that that helps make it um, look look more um, specific. Uh, so yeah, so it was a, a year of of real real training. How challenging was the role for you? Like once you started filming, you know a lot of it. Um, even you've mentioned it's like from here up. So mm -hmm. talk about that. It was really um, it was really extreme because you know we were shooting. We shot in like 40 days, it was like 16 hour days. I was training before and after work, so I was sleeping like five hours a night, and every scene is a big scene in the movie. There's no like throwaway scene. So it was really um, just focus and discipline like all the time, and, and Darren was amazing with that, and Mary Helen was great with that too, like keeping me warm all the time when we were doing the dance scenes. She would warm me up, and we would do bar like every time before we would do a dance scene so that I would be warm and not injure myself because that obviously would have been the worst thing if I had gotten a serious injury in the middle of doing the dance work. Yeah, definitely. Um, what was the hardest thing you had to learn and really convey so it's believable to you know, the general audience, to dancers alike? Um, I think that you know we wanted to get a level of the dance world that was convincing so that you didn't even think about it and you could just get lost in the sort of psychological drama of what she's going through where you're not like nitpicking of uh, with the dance stuff of like oh that's real that's not you know so it really had to be um you know good enough so that you wouldn't even think about it anymore and and that was that was hard because sometimes you had to do something at the same time you know sometimes I had to feel really confident to be able to do a turn right but I had to be acting really insecure so the, the combination of the, the physical challenge and the emotional challenge simultaneously was was definitely um, one of the biggest feats, I think. I would imagine. Um, you know, your character has that line, I just want to be perfect. <laughs> what about Nina, do you, I mean, do you see any part of yourself in, in her or? Um, I think I definitely, um, you know, always demand, I'm very demanding with myself and I do like to you know, I'm never really happy with what I do, never really satisfied. But I don't know if I'm necessarily a, a perfectionist because I think our art is different. You know, being an actor, you're portraying people who are naturally imperfect, you know, so we're trying to portray imperfection. Um, whereas dancing, there's a much more objective sense of perfection you can get with how it turned out you are, the angle of your leg, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And working with Darren, I mean, talk about that. How was it? Darren is just my dream director. I mean, he is so focused, so specific, so um, in control of his medium. I mean, he knows exactly what he wants and exactly how to get it. And it was really interesting getting to watch him with different actors, too, because he changes the way he works very tailored to what an actor needs. And with me, it was so fun. Um, he just played so much. He had me try different things all the time. And then the last take was always, now do one for yourself. 
and and that was so wonderful to to get that from a director it was like a total gift and you know was really open to collaboration was always respectful always honest with you know his assessments of of what i was doing which i love because i don't want anyone to be mean but i like them to tell me if i'm not doing it right you know like because then when they say you are doing it right you believe them <laughs> Well, and you had Mary Helen, like in the in the wings, and you had all these oh, yeah. people, like. I mean, there was Mary Helen, there was Benjamin, there was you know Kurt Froman, who was Benjamin's assistant, all, you know, giving me notes on the dancing as well as Darren with the acting side. That's so grueling. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was intense, but it was amazing too. I mean, rarely do you have so many people helping you with your performance. Right, that's great. Um